What to know about Thai cities that went into lockdown and how transportation industry is severely affected. This is me, Joe Shalowit from Voice Online, and I'll be telling you all about it. The southern part of Thailand is a renowned destination for tourists from around the world. Thanks to spectacular beaches, awesome sights, and activities the region has to offer. Unfortunately, COVID-19 pandemic is affecting the world tourism industry and the cities in the south of Thailand very badly. Many provinces have been witnessing an accelerating increase in COVID-19 cases. Phuket has imposed a ban on traveling in and out of the island, sailing off land and sea borders. The exceptions are for sending essential items, for example, food, medical equipment, construction materials, cargo ships. Phuket International Airport would be closed from April 10th until the end of the month. However, the Prime Minister, government officials, and also those who are permitted by Thai government are still able to visit Phuket. Thailand's Land Transport Department has already suspended all public transportations in the deep south provinces of Thailand, Patani, Yala, and Narathiwat, effective immediately until further notice. Cross-border and charter services are included. For those who have already booked transportation tickets, the Director General of Land Transport Department suggested that passengers contact the ticket providers directly for refunds. On top of that, as many sub-districts in Narathiwat province have been facing rapid increase of COVID-19 cases, Thailand Department of Airports has suspended air traveling in and out of the province, starting from March 29th until further notice. Meanwhile, State Railway of Thailand has announced that it would stop operating commercial train services in the north, the northeast, and the south of Thailand starting on April 1st due to the drop in travel demands as the trains have been running half empty. 22 train services that will cease operation until COVID-19 crisis comes down are Dining, Sleeper, Air Conditioned Express, and Rapid Trains, except Ordinary Trains. Yes, you can still board the Ordinary Trains. Passengers can get full refunds at any train station in Thailand or contact the call center 1690. If you're traveling by plane, there have been some changes in safety regulation at the airports. Airports of Thailand Public Company Limited, or AOT, which manages Thailand's six main international airports, now allows passengers to bring liquid hand sanitizer up to 350 milliliters or 12 ounce per package on board the flights and to some restricted areas in the airports. Please make sure that the package is properly closed and the indication of quantity is clearly shown on the package. However, several major airlines have suspended their operations. Thai Airways has cancelled all international and domestic flights for a little bit more than two months, starting from March 25th until the end of May. Domestic flights by Thai Smile Airways will still be operated. Bangkok Airways will cancel all domestic flights from April 7th until the end of the month, and all international flights are cancelled until further notice. Thai Air Asia has cancelled domestic flights until April 25th, while international flights are suspended the whole month of April. Lastly, Thai Lion Air has also suspended all domestic and international flights until the end of April as well. This is what to know by Voice Online. Please do click like, share, and subscribe. If you have anything in mind that you want to know more or want me to talk about, please leave me a comment below. I am Joe Shalwit and I'll see you next time.